know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. So that you can change the back shock absorbers on your car, you must lift the rear of the vehicle and remove the wheels. This will give you full access to the suspension system. Loosen the stud bolts on the rear wheels, raise the front of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, racing your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. To start, remove the back mud guards. This will make access easier to the upper holding screws on the shock absorber. Using a jack, an extender and a T25 torque socket, unscrew the screw and remove the mud guard. Using a jack, lighten the load on the suspension arm so that you do not put unnecessary pressure on the thread of the screws when unscrewing. With a socket wrench, a long extender and a 16mm socket, remove the two upper holding screws. With a 16mm spanner, a socket wrench and a 16mm socket, remove the lower holding screws on the shock absorber. Finish the process off by hand and remove the screw. Remove the jack. You can now extract the shock absorber. On the workbench, you can now assemble and prepare your new shock absorber. Insert the foam pad on the protective cover, then insert the foam pad completely up to the upper shock absorber bracket. Grease the threading on the shaft of the shock absorber. Put the locking nut in place. For the tightening, take a 16mm offset wrench and a small adjustable spanner. Stop the rotation of the shaft with the adjustable spanner, then firmly tighten the lock nut with the offset wrench. Before reassembly, carefully grease the holding screws in order to facilitate any future disassembly. Put the lower part of the shock absorber in place, then the lower holding screw. Now tighten it. With the help of a jack, bring the upper part of the shock absorber closer so you can put the holding screws in place. You can screw them down with a socket wrench, an extender and a 16mm socket. You can now remove the jack. Put the mudguard back on, paying careful attention to put all the screws back without tightening them excessively. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Then you can put the wheels back on your vehicle, paying careful attention to grease the stud bolts well. Put the car back on the ground and fix the wheels in place correctly. Operation completed.